pound of spoon. I wasn't gonna measure, but I found one. <laughs> we weren't gonna measure? Dude, this is a cooking program? Uh, I just eyeball it. Our favorite baseball stadium foods in the hot stove and I'm Heather and that's David and today we are going to talk about your favorite Michigan team not college or the Lions or even the Pistons we're talking about the Detroit Tigers today it's gonna be so fun I did research you guys before this episode unlike I have in the past three so your girls actually uh, fairly knowledgeable up here so <laughs> so we're good because i knew nothing i knew i knew next to nothing but now i know a little bit more i knew a little bit but now i know more anyway uh we're gonna get started so uh Dav davia 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 that's my new nickname davia let's just <laughs> we're <laughs> we're gonna get started with trivia time as soon as i learn how to speak english <laughs> Uh, David, what's your what's your fun fact for the people today? Uh, my fun fact regarding the Detroit Tigers is that uh, Detroit Tiger legend and Hall of Fame MLB player outfielder Ty Cobb, he ah. uh, he got suspended yeah. because he beat up a fan that was heckling him in 1912. So don't mess with Ty, or you'll get a uh, you'll get Cobb. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cobb, I like that. Our, I guess, uh, let's see, 1912. So was he wearing like a full suit and tie while beating up this fan? I mean, probably, right? Yeah, I know he wasn't wearing a helmet when he had a bat. So like he just probably, ah. while, while he was hitting, like just went over full force, like no protection, except for the bat in his hand, just started smacking on them. You know, you know how it goes. <laughs> you know how, you know how it was. You know how I was I, back in those days. <laughs> I, I mean, it, yeah, pretty crazy. The Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire had just happened, right? For you history buffs, this is not New York. That was in New York. This is Detroit we're talking about. Uh, but uh, I'm just trying to look smart for y'all. Okay, uh, my fun <laughs> fact. Uh, my fun fact. Okay, so here's mine's a little happier. I'll read it off. Uh, the Tigers are the only Major League Baseball team that is home to a Ferris wheel in their stadium. So in Comerica Park, I guess, I'm not sure. Hannah does our research, as you guys know. I'm not sure if this is true, but I guess you can maybe ride a Ferris wheel. That's really cool. That's very interesting. And if we know the Ferris wheel was first displayed, like the first one, uh, was shown in the in the white in the white fair in the white you know in Chicago the, the, the in like 1890s anyway whatever that's not related either but they're both Midwestern cities yeah so um that's where we are we're starting off hot today we're starting these are really that those are really good fun facts so we have a we have a a, a, a brutal uh, treatment of a fan. And we mm -hmm. have a Ferris wheel. <laughs> so it's it's like any American carnival. And good in the bad. Um, it's like any, it's very American. This is a very American episode. Okay, so uh, with that said, uh, let's uh, get started on, oh, we didn't, even tell, we didn't even tell you guys what we're gonna make today. So. Oh, uh, yeah, we, got, we should tell them that, right? <laughs> yeah, we should tell the fans what we're actually making. So this is not a secret menu item, uh, so we apologize. This is actually exclusive uh, from their 2013 postseason menu. So mm -hmm. another postseason menu, I think we did that last week too with the Cardinals. Um, this is a postseason menu and uh, and it's it's a shortcake slider. We're going dessert again. We're going dessert because mm. we just want to get fat. Even though David cooks without sugar and I cook without uh, da dairy. Even though this is going to be vegan, but I eat eggs, but this is going to be vegan. Anyway, so it's sweet strawberries, uh, a scoop of vanilla ice cream, and uh, loaded between two fresh made waffles. So Detroit, uh, we're doing Detroit because there was a no hitter yesterday by the Chicago White Sox, Carlos Rodon, Rodon? I don't know how to say it, uh, but we're reminded of the near uh, perfect game that was miscalled by the ump, uh, by Detroit Tiger himself. Uh, 
Hold on. Armando Galarraga. 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 That's a fun I, name. I think that's his name. And that was in, I don't know what year that was. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, everybody's up in arms. We'll throw up the video. Natalie, can you show the video? Here comes number 27. It's Jason Donald and a crowd of better than 17,000 to its feet. The guy we've been waiting for all night. Ground ball, right side. Cabrera will cut it off. Galarraga covers. He's out. No, oh, he's safe. He is safe. He is safe at first base. He missed the base. He's out. Why is he safe? He must have missed the base. Are you kidding me? Why is he safe? You see right here. Why is he safe? Oh, oh my God. goodness, Jim Joyce. No. Jeez oh, Louise. Oh, my goodness. What a travesty. What an absolute travesty for Armando Galarraga. Okay, assuming she just showed the video. So, um... <laughs> And uh, it's very sad because the guy was out at first and it was miscalled and that was mm -hmm. the last out of the game, but then it counted for a single. So then it wasn't even a no hitter. It was a perfect, it was a blown, perfect game and no hitter all in one moment. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so let's get started with these waffles. So I, I don't make, um, I don't make waffles very often folks. So uh, this is actually maybe the first time I've made waffles. I make pancakes a lot, but not waffles. So uh, same thing, different shape. Come on. Uh, no, because there's a whole waffle maker. Fans, here is a question. Fans, uh, reach out to us in the comments. Who is your favorite old player that's still playing that should probably retire? Who's your favorite one? Who are you gonna be sad to see go soon? Is it Biggie? Is it Albert? Let us know. Um, and uh, yeah, so. It would have to be Albert. I love Albert. And I'm Mine? a Phillies fan. You know what? I'll be sad when, um, I'll be sad when Kershaw retires. He's not old, but oh, and he's still quite a, good. Obviously. Such a Dodger girl, such a Dodger such girl a Dodger. answer. I am a Dodger girl. <laughs> I am a Dodger girl. Third Dodger um, girl answer, staying true to your roots, I see. I mean, also like Andrew McCutcheon, how old is he now? Oh my God, um, I love Kutch. On base machine, he's like 50. Uh, is he uh, He still gets on base though, he busts his ass and he's hilarious. He's like such a funny guy. Oh, here's one. I'll be sad when Rich Hill retires. Is uh, that, that old? Like... No, he's like 40. He's very old. For real? For like ever, yeah. I'm adding some vanilla. Guys, this isn't in the recipe, but it says in the notes you could add some vanilla extract. So I oh, just, yeah. I, oh, I'm I just going free willing. I'm also gonna add some cinnamon to my waffles because we're basically like that's it, I think, in terms of. Oh, it says pinch of salt optional. Okay, I guess I'll add a pinch of salt. Should I add a pinch of salt, fans? Is that risky? Added heavy salt. Heli salt. I added heli salt. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of goofed. Did you kind of? <laughs> I shouldn't have added that much salt. I kind of goofed. These are gonna taste just like your pancakes. I mean, your your donuts did. Then. No, don't do that. <laughs> Never uh, again. Never again. So I know you're pissed off. I know you're pissed off by Miggy. I'm pissed off by AJ Hinch. I'm sorry, the guy cheated. He's a cheater. Yes. He initiated and instigated and oversaw the cheating of our least favorite team, the Houston Astros. And then he loses his job for a whopping one year, which basically all of us did in COVID. So he's right. basically the rest of the country. And then he comes back for the next full season of baseball and is the manager of the Detroit Tigers. I mean, give me a break with that. Yeah, and pay me millions of dollars a season before and then tell me I can't work for a year just so I can go back and, you know, sign a contract with a major league team again. Please please do that. Please do that. I would love for that to happen. That's right. I know. 
Regarding their young talent, I mean, you have Akil Bad Badu. Is that how you say his name? Badu. Yes, very um, good. Yes. Yeah, he smacked good four start. homers so far in the series, hitting like over three hundred. Um, high on base percentage. Kid looks athletic. He looks great. Uh, he looks like a big piece for Detroit in the future. Uh, Wilson Ramos is also having a great season so far. He already mm. has six home mm. runs, mm. Uh, which is pretty ridiculous. I feel like he's like one of those older guys we were talking about too. I feel like he's been in the league forever. I don't know if it's just me, but he's he still finds a way to rake. Um, and then I think as of this episode, Mickey's like on the 10 day IL, so I think he's hurt. Um, I'm not sure what for, but I feel like he's just been super injury prone the past few years, which has held him back from being what he used to be back in, you know, the 2013 years and things of that matter. Right, matter. right. And, um, you know, he used to go ahead and just take the league by storm and win triple crowns and MVPs. You know, we got two of those. So, um, yeah, so Maggie's injury history definitely has, like, hindered him from – you know, being what he once was, but right, right, right. He said, "I have to be subjective, objective, subjective. Forget what that word is. Objective, unbiased, objective. And objective. Mans is overpaid regardless. Give me his money, please. Thank you. How do you feel about Akil Badu? I like his name too, Akil. Uh, no, it was really Akil. exciting to see his first few games with his family in the stands. Didn't he? Wasn't the first pitch of his career a home run? The first pitch of his career. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, he's that guy's a stud, man. He's a stud Very muffin. cool. Okay, so David, I am um, I am ready. Uh, this batter is ready to go. Yeah, this is what this is what my batter looks like. We'll we'll do the we'll do this the the food cam. You can't see that, so it looks pretty good. It smells nice. Ooh, it yeah, smells the vanilla nice. makes it smell so sweet. Yeah. Fans, how long should your waffles cook in the waffle maker? I have no idea. It doesn't say, um, but I think it's quick. So let's uh, maybe before we start with the while our waffle makers are warming, David, let's toss in our trivia. Let's toss trivia, in time. trivia time. Let's do trivia time. Trivia, trivia time. time. Trivia time. We're working on a jingle, guys. So if it doesn't sound crisp, uh, <laughs> that's so about. <laughs> Uh, it's it's trivia time, folks. It um, is. It's trivia time. So uh, so let's let's do it. Uh, David, how about you start with me and then I'll go. I'm nervous. Your questions are harder. Hannah gave you harder questions because she's been listening to me. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. Thanks, Hannah. Okay. I'll still win. It's okay. <laughs> let's go. Let's do it. I'm ready. Let's ready go. in five, four, three, two. One go. go. How many World Series has the Detroit Tigers won? Four. Oh my God, you got it right. Uh, when was their last World Series win? 1985. 1984. No! Name the three. Name the three colors of the Detroit Tigers. Hurry, hurry, uh, hurry, hurry, uh, hurry, black, hurry, white, hurry, and, hurry, or hurry, or hurry. Midnight blue and orange. Um, no, orange, gray, yes! blue, white. No, 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 no. I said that. Uh, who did they win the World Series against? Or no, yeah, who did they win against yesterday? Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Who did they win against yesterday? Who did they win hurry. against yesterday in real yes, time? Hurry. The Houston Astros. Oh, correct. Okay, good. Um, when were they founded? Founded. When were they founded? 1901. Hurry. 1904. Shit. Who is considered the most famous Detroit Tiger? We were talking about him earlier. Miggy. No, Ty Cobb. Who holds the, the franchise record for single or for stolen bases? Jesus. Um, Miggy. Ty Cobb. Why would Miggy? Miggy doesn't steal. Okay, whatever. Go. Harry Hellman was what? nicknamed. I'll give you this last one because it rang. Um, Harry Hellman was nicknamed Slug. True or false? True. That is correct. So you got through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got through eight questions. How many get right? I rushed you half, through them. Give me half credit on the on the on the. Give me half credit on the. Um, color one. Ah, <laughs> uh, you didn't give me credit last time when I got the, the Kansas City Royals colors mixed up, so I can't do that for you here, Heather. But what Sorry. Did I say? What did I say? What? What? Did I say? What, what do you mean? What did I say? <laughs> you said you said black, orange, yeah. and midnight blue. It's orange, gray, blue, white. That's that's the you answer. Said there that's were three colors. Says name three of their colors. 
I did. No, okay. black is one of them. Okay. Wrong. That's, Wrong. Yeah, Wrong. I said orange. That's one. I said, what did I say? Okay, I said, okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. I'll give you half. I'll give you, I'll give you a you. third. I'll give you a third. Oh okay, so they okay. won. So you got that one right. You got this one wrong. This one, a third right. This one right. This one okay. wrong. This uh -huh. one wrong. Yeah. This one wrong. This one right. So you got two and a, two and one third out of eight. I heard, <laughs> that sounded like three and a third. You said I got it. I was listening to you just now. The World Series one you got right. You got yeah. it. The last time they won their World Series, you said 1985. Okay, can okay. I get like half credit for that? I was so close. No, no, we are, we are not. We're oh not. God, no, is this so, is not a I'm participation so I looked trophy. That up yesterday, guys. This is, this is a hot corner. Okay, okay we're fine. in the okay, hot fine. corner right now. Things are coming okay, hot. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. And then you got who they won against yesterday, right? And okay. oh no, yeah, three and three and one one third because of uh the, the Harry Hellman. Harry Three and a half. Okay. okay, yeah, the true. One I third. got it true. Okay. okay. Uh okay, <laughs> whatever. So that's highly disputed. Comment below if I was robbed. Comment like, below like if she should Armando, get one third or one half. Like Armando Galarraga of the Detroit Tigers. Okay, I'm gonna timer and we'll Galarraga. Okay, David, pay attention. Ready? Okay. Set. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my How god. many AL pennants have they won? Oh my god. Um 10. Oh my no, god. No, 11. What league are so they close. a part of? Um the American League. Yeah, that's easy. What is their stadium called? Um oh my god. Uh, it's Bush No, that's that's Cardinals. Jesus. Co I said co it. Commerce, co coerce, something like that. Coerce. No, Comerica Park. Comerica. It was something like uh, that. I knew that. Um, what yeah. do they? No, right. you did it. I said it earlier too. What? Right. Is, who do they play later today? Um, the Astros. No, the Athletics. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! What was their original name? Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Um, the English D's. No, the t what? The Tigers. They were always called the Tigers. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Keep going! Keep going! They were called the Bengals. Okay. Uh, the first Tiger to hit 50 home runs in a season was Ty Cobb. True or false? True. Has no, it's true. false. Oh my, god, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! to throw 300 strikeouts in a season. Justin Verlander. No, Mickey Lawlick, you're out of. Oh my god! 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 Oh, that was really sad. Um, yeah, I could get one right. You got American League. You got one <laughs> question right. They played I was the close American with the League. AL pennants. I was close. I said 10. Yeah, you were close. I was actually really, but you didn't give me 1985. So I therefore know. you don't get 10. I These didn't are goofed. the rules. Um, <laughs> I didn't goof. These are the rules. Um, <laughs> and you were close. I said the name of the park. I said Comerica earlier in this episode, folks. Earlier in this episode. I know. Um, I said Commerce. I don't know what I said. I, I knew Yeah, they're done with the Astros. They play the A's. Of course, this is filmed a week ago, so I don't know who they're yep. playing tonight. Tonight, uh, and then I don't think their original name was the Tigers. So I think uh, there might have been a goof. I wrote this down. Um, GGs. I'm going back to my corner. I'm going back uh, to my cooking corner. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that was um, funny. Maybe they were called <laughs> the Tigers. No, they were called. No, actually, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question, folks. Um, oh no, they were called, they were the, called the Motor Cities. City Kitties. I told you. They were called the Motor City Kitties first, I think. <laughs> I think. I don't know, guys. I'm. I don't know. This is where you learn that kitties. I don't know anything about baseball. <laughs> okay. Um. So let's start these waffles, folks, because these cook up real fast, and there's no drink today. Sorry, no alcohol today. No alcohol <laughs> yeah. today. Guys, does anybody know how to use a waffle maker? Because I'm like running the house down with this. <laughs> Um, I'm going to run the house down, folks. I got, um, the, I got the children's safe one. Here's a fun fact. Here's more fun facts while these... Oh, this... Oh, wait. I don't think I'll have time to say my fun fact. Okay, it's really sizzling. I should have a plate ready. I should have a plate. Oh, yeah. I came prepared. Okay, here's a plate. Shh. Oh, I didn't... But I didn't share my fun facts. So oh, here's some fun facts. Here's some, here's some tiger's fun facts. Uh... The, oh, they, the Tigers are the only team in Major League Baseball to have a color on their road uniforms, orange, as I said earlier, that is not on their home uniforms. Ooh, 
I like Very orange too. Color. It's a good color. Uh, I like their I like their road much better than their home. If you ask yeah, me. Yeah, to me, Detroit has like top top ten unis. I love their unis. Yeah, the classic D, the English D. The English um, D for D. And in their pants, they have more belt loops than any other team. Oh my god, these waffles are looking good, and my my batter has a lot of extra mix, so I'm gonna make. Oh my god, these look good. I'm so impressed with myself right now, David. Um, oh, they smell good. Ooh, ooh, they smell cinnamony. Okay, I'm gonna make more. I'm gonna make more. Let's make some more. Let's make some waffles. Natalie will fast forward this probably, so nobody will hear this song. I'm a really talented singer. In so many She's gonna ways. slow down just for this part, <laughs> just to hear you sing. I mean, listen, David. I, I'm, a, I'm an otherworldly talent. I'm a yet undiscovered superstar. My only thought is watch for Akil Badu and Wilson Ramos. Even though we don't know a lot of their current players, a lot of their former players, you know, like Verlander or Castellanos, um, are actually like, you know, um, significant, like good yeah. players. Well, they let, I don't know why they let Castellanos walk the way they did. Like, I don't know, Detroit. Detroit's just made a lot of mistakes in the front office. Um, comment, comment below if Detroit is your favorite team, and if if not, and you live in Michigan, what your favorite Detroit team is. The Red Wings, the, uh, the Pistons. This okay. is Natalie's favorite team, the Detroit Tigers, so she's gonna love editing this. This is Natalie, this is our, this is our editor Natalie's uh, favorite uh, team, so she's excited. Shout out, Natalie. Shout out. Alrighty, so now we're gonna prep. We're gonna Time. prep. We're gonna prep our food, and then we're gonna say if it's a grand slam or if it's a strikeout. Your guys' favorite part of the show. I'm just gonna pour those on top, very loosey goosey. My dog's name is Lucy. Comment below if you have a dog. What's your dog's name? I got my dog right here. Her name is Lulu, not Lucy. Or Lucy. Oh my goodness, they're almost twinning. Uh, this is Grand Summer Strikeout. We're gonna try the food. We made it all together. It's it's the shortcake slider with ice cream berries and waffles as the bread. And uh Cheers. On top. Cheers, David. Oh, throwing some honey on top. We're both going rogue. We're going rogue. Look at that. Nice drizzle. Okay, David, are you gonna let me try it now? No, never. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm go. gonna try it. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Mm. Oh boy. Yeah. That's very good. That's a salami. That's very good. Did you try That's your salami? Yes, I did. It's a salami. You say Grand yeah. Slam? Yep, big Grand Slam. I like this. I like this a lot. Yeah, pick this up if it ever comes back or vote for it to come back because this is really good. Or you can just make it at home. It's pretty easy to make. Honestly, we took like, what, like 20 minutes? It's not that hard. Guys, go a bit up to the house. I feel like you're at a Detroit Tigers game, you know? 
I literally can't talk. That was so good. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, guys, and the cool part about the waffles, you could add peanut butter, you could do what David did, add honey, you could do what I did, add vanilla and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. The waffles are really easy to make. They're healthy, they're light. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, really good. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, that is tasty times. That is very good. The berries with the ice cream gives it a whole other element. You just can't go wrong. You can't, can't go, go wrong. wrong with that. Okay, this is truly my last bite. <laughs> All right. I would say that so far this is probably the best thing we've made. Best thing? Yup. I love this. Yeah, this is good. All right, guys. Uh, so we both gave that a grand slam. That was so good. Mm -hmm. Tried it at home. Hopefully the Tigers make the playoffs again one day so you can have it again. Um, uh, that was delicious. Um, I'm very pleased. And uh, so is David. So comment below if you try to make it yourself, if something goes wrong. Did your uh, did your waffle maker overflow like mine did? Uh, did, uh, I don't know, your berries not taste good? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> or did it taste delicious? Um, you could find us on all the social medias, Twitter, uh, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn. There will be a graphic uh, at the end of this video. You can find all our handles. Uh, make sure to listen to our podcast, I'll Talk No Bach, on Spotify, same name as the company. And uh, that'll come back soon, we're hoping. Uh, we're taking a brief hiatus. And uh, check out the articles that is uh, that are online on our on our blog i'm sorry i'm like in a daze because that was so good <laughs> hard for me to focus we love you guys thank you so much for tuning in we don't know the team next week uh but i think you guys are starting to see a pattern that we're going in we're trying to go from uh teams teams that we think will do the least well to teams that we think will do the best it's hard to predict in advance but anyway that's what we're doing so next week we'll probably do a team I don't know, in the uh, maybe NL Central, maybe? Who knows? The NL West, we have a few teams. NL East, I don't know. But it's definitely gonna be an NL team because we like to trade off. So that's it for Batter Up. Thank you so much. Uh, Dave and I love you all. Go follow us, leave comments, like and subscribe to this channel, like this video. Do all the things that you do on YouTube. We love you. Have a great rest of your day. This is delicious. Bye, everyone.